YNW Melly makes another attempt at a gaining limited freedom. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so, yeah. So, apparently, as we already know, YNW Melly has been a confirmed COVID-19 carrier okay so real quick for everybody that don't know um why nw melly has COVID 19 this is a thing that he has this is not a game this is not a joke his family is scared and fearful as so is he and they would like for him to get similar treatment to uh takashi 69 and cool to be and as far as to say allow for him to come outside of the prison in order to get treatment before we go into the story right here i do want to say a couple of things and one of the things that i want to say is we've been speaking about how prisons are going to handle the COVID 19 situation for a long time we keep hearing well not for a long time about and as long as you know this this COVID 19 has been a situation so i say all that to say this we see some of the treatment that's happening in the prisons you have prisoners that are having um, phones and they're recording and then they're sitting out the recordings so we can know what's happening in there and if from what i'm hearing is happening in the prisons i feel bad for every single person that contracted COVID 19 except for the pedophiles all y'all eat a dick how about that Matter of fact, don't do that. That might be up your alley. You get my point, though. Anyway, um, TMZ wrote an article. Uh, the name of the article is Why N.W. Melly Begs for Prison Release. COVID-19 is killing me. That's what he's saying. It goes on to say, uh, shout out to TMZ. It goes on to say why N.W. Melly is begging the judge to let him out of prison because he says he's on the verge of dying from COVID-19. The rapper's lawyer, Bedford Cohen, filed legal docs obtained by TMZ claiming the rapper in prison awaiting the murder trial is suffering from severe chills, heavy labored breathing, headaches, body aches since he tested positive for the coronavirus. Cohen says Melly weighs 114 pounds and has not been monitored by medical personnel every hour like they're supposed to. And there's this. Cohen claims Melly's been holed up in a cell with another inmate who also has COVID-19 and there's a fear if the virus can be mutated or passed past um reoccurring between individuals now there's a couple of things that i want to say and the first thing is i want to say something about the last part of that that i just read where are we supposed to put him in in a cell with people that don't have it so he could then pass it to them and more people could be infected so if we're going off of the uh, we're going off of the um the impression that COVID 19 is a communicable disease then no, you're not going to want to have somebody with the communicable disease around people who do not have a virus, who do not have the communicable virus, who can't. Who, so that don't even make sense. So, of course, you're going to want to put him around other people who he can't then infect. But I guess I understand their position, their position being they just want to make any old argument to get him out of jail. I can understand their position. And if I do believe that there is a legitimate fear for his life. And them being his family, they most likely feel that way. So, um, let me go on, finish reading the article real quick. Um, also, dude only weigh a, a buck nine, a buck fourteen. Homie, 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 homie. Real quick, all of you skinny guys, please just do something else other than be involved with people who might commit crimes. That's all I'm gonna say. Your butthole will thank me. Anyway. Cohen claims there's a lack of preparedness by the jail for this type of epidemic. Um, I don't think that's a good argument to be made, by the way, because I don't think any jail or prison can be prepared for this. So are we supposed to let everybody out? So I don't I just that's just me, though, as they have not given them mass or cleaning supplies that would be beneficial regarding this, his recovery. Now, with also another thing. 
um, they should be giving these guys masks and cleaning supplies like crazy. That's a whole fact. Um, I had run into a situation myself where I was uh, incarcerated on uh, Rikers Island for a little while over some bullshit. So when I tell you, um, if they give the prisoners cleaning supplies, somebody is going to use them. Even in a regular situation where there is no freaking pandemic going on, somebody will definitely use them now. So please, let's get these let's get these um prisoners, let's get these um people that's being held detained, these detainees, let's call them that. Let's get these t detainees some appropriate uh cleaning supplies so they can at least clean their areas. Like that's like the number one thing these guys should be trying to do. And I'm, when I say these guys, I don't mean the the um, detainees. I mean the people that run the damn ship, the people that run the, the the facility. One of the number one things that they should be trying to do is get cleaning supplies to keep everything nice and sanitary. Anyway, it goes on to say, Melly's asking the judge if he could get out. Wait, pardon me. Let me go back. Um, Cohen claims there's a lack of preparedness by the judge for this type of by the jails by this type of epidemic, as they are not given the mass or cleaning supplies that will be beneficial regarding his recovery. This is against all recommendations by the Surgeon General and CDC. Melly's asking the judge if he could get out of prison and be placed on house arrest and treated at a medical facility of his at his own expense. Melly, of course, has been sitting in jail for more than a year after being arrested and charged in the double murder of two friends. So. We're going to let Melly go to court. We're going to let the judge and everybody and, and the prosecution and the defense do their job. I'm not here to speak on the case. If y'all want to talk about the case in the comment section, talk about the case in the comment section. I might chime in. But at the end of the day, YNW Melly's, pardon me. Yeah, YNW Melly's situation is vastly different from the individuals that they're letting go and letting out. One of the... um. One of the criteria for being let out, I have to assume, is you not being a fear to uh, you not being a uh, threat to to the public. And he's being charged with a double murder of two friends. I'm just sorry. I don't think that his lawyer is going to be able to argue that he's not a threat to society. With that being said, let me know what y'all guys think. Leave it down in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe, join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember... Positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?